Yow, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our interview section. I'm here with Banny, another international traveler who's traveled quite a ways to get here. And how are you feeling today, Banny? Feeling pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we heard there was a little incident with your baggage. You want to tell us a little bit about that? The damages suffered and uh, how you've been able to recover from that? Yeah, so uh, basically my baggage didn't survive the trip, including my keyboard, my headphones, and um, my bag itself. Had to get a replacement, but... It's all worked out so far. I'm set up and I'm feeling comfortable with a new keyboard, new mouse pad, all that stuff. But I don't think it's going to affect anything. Excellent. Well, I wanted to ask you a question I asked Paulson, which was just his opinion on whether there are still stylistic differences amongst the different communities of TF2 globally um, or whether that is kind of uh, even now. So I was just curious, what is your take on that? I do think there are some differences. I think mainly it comes down to the rule set that they play. Like in Europe, playing the 30 minute time limit really changes the way that the teams um, approach a match. Um, they, can, they can slow things down a lot and really punish you for being behind, force you into making mistakes. They can afford to run a sniper and like really slow things down, make sure everything is like a slam dunk. I think when we play like the full hour long matches, you might see more risk taking. Um, so that's something that we're going to have to adapt to for sure. That's definitely going to be the biggest thing for us is like pacing in a match, you know. If we're ahead, maybe play the clock a little bit more. If we're behind, you know, you'll see the pace picking up. As far as the uh, Australians, I really don't know, to be honest. Uh, they're kind of going to be a wild card for us. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, speaking of um, EU rule sets, uh, we're featuring a map that hasn't been played in North America, a new map created by Fi. I'm talking about Reckoner. What is your impression of that map so far, and how do you feel like your chances will be having to, to play a map that's really new uh, to you against uh, teams that are a bit more experienced at it? Yeah, I've played Reckoner a little bit, only in pugs, though. Uh, we had a chance to scrim it, go over it as a team. It was something we prepared coming into this event knowing that it would be here. But, um, you know, it's not one of our most familiar maps, of course. Um, I like the map. It's, it's very unique. The mid's unique. But it plays like 5CP, you know? And I think 5CP is our strength compared to, like, maybe King of the Hill or whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to play it. I think that our team actually does pretty well on, on the map. And, yeah, I, I don't really see it being a big problem for us. Nice. Well, um, Froyo Tech has gone through some roster changes uh, throughout this last season, before this last season, and, you know, has just continued to evolve as the monster of TF2 that it is. Your current roster features a wonderful pocket soldier that, uh, for most of your career, was actually an antagonist to you and your team. I'm talking about TLR. Uh, how has it been pulling him onto your roster and playing with him? Yeah, actually, it's been amazing playing with Tyler. He kind of came out of nowhere. Like, he hadn't been playing TF2 for, like, two years. And then when we learned that Blaze couldn't make it here to I-58, we just scoured our friends list and we, we looked for any options. And Patty reached out to TLR and he's like, yeah, I'm interested. So that was just like a shock, but it was awesome. Um, Tyler, he was like the god pocket back then. Um, in my opinion, he was the player that made mix up what it was. A lot of people will say it was like Harblu or Enigma, but I know, it was, it was Tyler, it was. So I'm glad to have him here. He's been an amazing teammate, very dedicated. He works really hard and he's been like just practicing so hard to get that rust off. And I think he's gonna do really well. Excellent, so uh, you guys are about to get into your games. Um, we got an excellent squad of European talent here. Amongst those teams, like who are you most excited to play against? Honestly, I'm excited to play against anyone. We haven't really gotten a chance to even scrim like against any of the teams. Um, Definitely the favorites are going to be crowns and full tilt, um, I think. But I think we're ready to take them on, though. You know, I think it'll be fun. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, we're going to bop back to a, an ad break in just a second. But, Banny, I want to give you a, a chance to give any shout-outs that you wanted to. Oh, uh, I guess I just want to thank everyone for supporting our team to get to I-58. So if you contributed to the fundraiser, thank you very much. And for watching I-58, I hope you have a good time watching the matches. Hope we put on a good show for you. Awesome. Well, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to a quick ad break, but stay tuned. Our server issue is uh, on its way to being resolved. We'll be back with some action soon, so stay tuned.